this is Dr. Brandon Buttry coming at you from One Health Chiropractic. It is a beautiful Colorado day. Wanted to take a quick second to talk to you a little bit about what are you fueling your body with? What is the quality of the food which is going into your body to create, hopefully, a higher level of health and wellness for you? And I want to touch on a topic here. I want to talk a little bit about something that's called pH. Anyone who has a fish tank knows all about pH, or anyone that's a chemist or has taken chemistry. What is pH? Well, it's simply a measure of acidity or alkalinity, of how acidic or how basic a substance is. If we look at the chart here, the pH scale goes from zero all the way over to 14. Zero to 14. Neutral pH, seven. Now your body's pH is gonna be right around 7.4. So we notice these things with the body, the body's always striving for balance. Not too much one way, not too much the other way. Not too much fight or flight, not too much rest and digest. Not too much basic, not too much acidic. Now we have to realize, every food that you put in your body is either going to be a detriment to your health or it's going to build your health. And pH is a great measure as far as the food quality goes. What is the pH of the food which you are about to consume and how is that going to react once it gets into the body? I have here a fabulous chart, which if you would like one, please feel free to come by our office. We'd be happy to share this with you. What this is, it's essentially a grocery list based on the pH of foods. And so you'll see way over here, all these acidic foods and clear over on this side, the more basic or the more alkaline foods. Lots of us out there have heard the alkaline diet. You want to alkalize your body. You don't want too much acidity in the body and acidic nature in the body is what? It's like a breeding ground for things such as cancer and all these other disease processes, inflammation, the whole nine yards. And so the more alkaline food choices we select, the better off our body seems to be. And I just wanna go ahead and read here actually. Some of the most acidic foods, acidic, that you can put into your body, which would be clear down here at about three on the pH scale, meats like bacon and sausage, dairy, processed cheeses, Coca-Cola and different sodas, sweets like pudding, um, other things like french fries, most other fried foods. We all know fried food is not good for us. Now we know why. Oh, what else do we have here? Canned tuna, lobster, ice cream, roasted nuts, carbonated drinks, grapefruit and orange juice, some of the vegetables are even quite acidic, coming in at about a four on the pH scale. We have legumes, snow peas, uh, more meat like veal, buttermilk, cream cheese, white bread. Okay, so now let's, let's go along the continuum here and let's see what are some of these healthier food options, some of these healthier choices, some of the more alkaline things that we should be putting into our body. Things like blackberries, things like persimmon, uh, fresh mango, pineapple, fresh raspberries, tangerines, artichokes, raw celery, raw cucumber, raw eggplant, raw red cabbage, raw zucchini. Are you seeing a trend here? Raw fruits and vegetables, especially berries. Other fruits like watermelon at 9.5 are more alkaline, although watermelon is uh, quite sugary, you might say. Uh, fruits like fresh lemon. See, most people would look at a lemon and they would think, ooh, that's, it's, it's very citrusy, that's gotta be super acidic. Actually, adding some lemon to your water alkalizes that water. It's one of the greatest things you can do right when you wake up in the morning. Highly recommend it. I do it myself every single morning. A little bit of lemon in the water, or if you're really feeling crazy, you can get some doTERRA essential oils and just do a few lemon drops if you're worried about the, the nature of the lemon chemicals affecting your teeth or enamel or anything crazy like people talk about. Also, we have raw Brussels sprouts, raw Swiss chard, kimchi, and other fermented vegetables, raw spinach, and on and on and on. Now, what am I getting at here? 
raw fruits and vegetables, some of the best things that we can put into our body. Yes, we don't want to be hammering fruit all day long and just eating fruit, 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 fruit. But these leafy green vegetables, these raw vegetables, things that were grown in the ground or picked off a tree or off of a bush, these are some of the best foods, the best fuel that we can put into our body to create the highest level of health so we can express that, live our life at the highest quality possible. We get our chiropractic adjustments, of course, we get some exercise, we sleep well, we have a good positive mindset as much as we can, and that leads to a wonderful life going forward into the future. This is Dr. Brandon Buttry saying thank you for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video.